Alright everyone, welcome back to episode 22 of our Continuing Learning C++ series. This one's going to be a fairly simplistic idea. I've touched on it a few times. Um, it's known as case logic. And case logic has a lot of very good uses, and I'm not going to talk about it too much. I want to just get right into this because I have a feeling it's going to run a little bit long. Okay, so what we're going to first do is we're going to um, create an int name it choice. Um, we're going to initialize it to zero. Uh, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu. Uh, you know what, let's, let's go back to that calculator example from a little while ago. Um, we're going to say press one, four, oh, and that means that we're going to need two other variables as well, so double x and double y, and we'll just initialize both of those to zero as well. Um, I already have CMath included, so we'll just say press 1 for addition, um, and then I did put these on different lines, so end l, um, press 2 for subtraction, I'm going to capitalize it, it stands out better. Um, B T R A C T I N. Um, and then on the next line, press three for multiplication. And, I'll, and then I'm going to actually just stop this C out statement and do another one on the next line. Um, press four. Uh, four. Oh, and I have two fours there. Division. And down. And then, uh, press five. Four. Uh, we'll do raising a number to a power. And then we'll do... Uh, another endl, and do uh, press 6 to find the remainder of a number. That went out a little further than I would have liked, but whatever. C out, and then we'll just say enter your selection now. And then we're going to C in for choice. Um, again, we can force them to enter something. We're not going to do that. It's a good idea for you to do that, but I'm on a little bit of a time schedule. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use something called switch. And what switch is, is it's going to select an element um, from the following. And I'm going to intentionally program these cases with one minor issue, because I want to show you something. So we're going to use choice as the variable which chooses what is going to happen inside of switch. I'm going to come down here and tell you that that's where the switch ends. Um, again, we can put this whole program inside a loop if we want. We don't need to. Um, and then we're going to do case one. Um, and we can do the, the X and Y uh, C ins in each of these if we want. Um, so then we can have a more customizable message. Um, I'm not going to have time to really... Eh, I suppose I could do it. I could say um, uh, enter the value to be added or well the first value to be added and then do uh, C... Oh, no. It's not what I wanted. Forgot my semicolon. And I still forgot my semicolon. <laughs> Here we go. C in, and then it would be X. And, you know, you can do that. Um, I'm actually going to do that outside of the switch. You guys might want to do it inside the switch for each, so you can have a more uh, customized message for each. You know, if you're going to add, say, oh, well, this is the value that you're going to want to add. Um, and then, you know, maybe subtract or whatever. Um, to use, and that's just going to be x, 
Um, it's also going to need a backslash n. And I'm just going to copy and paste here, just to save a little bit of time. And uh, that's going to be y. And I need to change that to second. Okay, so in this case, all I'm going to be doing here is just simple x. Um, and we will just see out these, and we'll say see out the sum of, um, and then we'll do, sorry, I hit insert there. This keyboard's really terrible sometimes. Uh, X, and then space plus another space, Y equals, sorry, there's so much typing to this. And then we'll just do x plus y. And that kind of goes back to what we had said uh, in our last video about doing things that way. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire case. And mind you, these cases are being programmed wrong intentionally, but only with one minor thing so you can see what will happen. Um, and we're going to do the difference of x, and that's minus y, and then just change that to minus y as well. Um, and I can get rid of case 1 because it's no longer case 1 at all. Um, and that's going to be case 3, which was multiply, so the product of x multiplied by y. And um, I do believe that's an extra one of those as well. Um, we're going to just copy paste again. Four. Um, what the hell is it when you divide? Um, numerator divided by denominator equals ah quotient. It's been a long time since I've had to use that word. Uh, so divided by change that to divided by. And then raising to a power is going to be pretty much the same as it has been all the other times we've used it. Um, case 4 looks like it's off. Okay, and so this is going to be the... I have no idea. Um, of x raised to the y power is going to be pow... Um, x comma y. I don't know if I'm going to need uh, parentheses around that. I might, so I might have to come back to that. Um, again, kind of we'll see moment. And this is going to be 6, and this is going to be the remainder of x divided by y. And these are going to have to be cast to ints. Um, not that I really want them to be, but Sometimes you have to. Um, and so we're going to do like that real quick, and then change this multiplication sign to a modulo sign. Okay, and that's going to end our switch, and um, every switch needs a default statement, just in case somebody enters something, or they somehow end up, you know, uh, in one of these things that they shouldn't be in. And we'll say, whoops, something went wrong. And mind you, we're not validating data at all, so I mean, it's entirely possible somebody could enter a number that they shouldn't. Um, I'm just going to go and enter new lines at the beginning of each of these. And then we're going to try something out. And I did program this intentionally wrong to show you guys what will happen if you forget one small little sort of caveat. Okay, so I'm going to do a simple addition, um, and somebody forgot to put a backslash in there. That would be me, this guy. Okay, so we're just going to compile and run it one more time, just because I want the output to look pretty. Okay, and we're going to select one, and uh, we want to add 5 to 10, and you'll notice that Every single one of these just happened. It did the sum, the difference, the product, the quotient, the exponential value, and the mod. Um, 
and I forgot to change that. So, uh, what you'll notice is when you don't put a break in these, you get what's known as case fall through, meaning it's going to hit case one, and then if you don't use a break, it's going to also hit two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down from the first one that it's able to hit all the way down. So if this was two, it only would have hit two, three, four, five, six, and then default. But when I go through and I add a break statement to all of these, um, I'm just gonna copy paste that. You'll see that it runs like a charm. Um, I guess we'll just raise to a power, make sure that actually works right. And we'll raise 2 to the third power, and that equals 8. So that everything's worked out fine, it ran successfully. Um, now if I go back through one more time and I enter 9, it's going to accept it because I didn't make it so it didn't. And so I'm going to say 10 and 2, and it just says whoops, something went wrong, which means it hit default. So in this case, what I've shown you is number one, how to handle uh, errors or unexpected input in cases. And I've also shown you how to create a simple case structure. Now I'm going to show you um, in sort of a, a different way uh, how to use case structure in the future. Um, what your homework is going to be for this. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit more fun um, what I want you guys to do, it, and you can be as complicated or as simple as you want on this, um, I'm not sure what type of uh, uh, grading schemes are used overseas, but in the United States we use uh, a simple A through F grading scheme, and things are graded on a 1 to 100 scale. Um, anything 90 plus is an A. Um, anything in the lower 90s, or well, technically anything 95 or 96 to 100 is an A plus. Uh, then it's 93 to 96 is an A. Then 90 to 93 is an A minus, or something along those lines. And then you know 80 to 90 or 80 to 89 is B. Uh, 70 to 79 is C. And you know, it's broken down into the plus and minus on each of these. And then uh, 60 to 69 is D. And then 0 to 59 is an F. So what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to write a program where you use this kind of case structure, except user input um, for, you You won't need choice. Um, that's going to be a menu. You can do a menu if you want. You shouldn't need one for this. Um, and I want you to accept a grade. You can accept it as a double um, or as an int if you just want to use a, a straight number. And I want you to make it so using cases uh, you're going to be testing for certain values. Um, you can use if statements, you can use a lot of different things to do this. I want to see if you guys can apply what I've taught you in this video to make it so, you know, based on what their grade is, you'll output their grade and maybe a message, you know, A plus, great, great job, you know, F uh, needs improvement or something along those lines. So let me see your work and um, if you have any issues, comment down below, shoot me a message. Um, if you like what you've seen so far, subscribe up top. Alright, and I'll see you next video.